You know, when I was in the hospital in 97, that near death experience, when I was, uh, I guess, in that realm of the spirit, I, the, the language spoken there, it wasn't exactly words, but, you know, the memory of it formed the words. Mm-hmm. And a, a lot of that was, a lot of that had, the, most of the conversation had to do with the why, with me asking why I can't, uh, why I can't go back in there. And he goes, because you're not done yet. And then they had, this is some other shit. They, they, they just said something like, you're not done yet. You just need to remember a few things. And, you know, we just, we just want to say hi. And you go, yeah. And I said, well, that's a rather cruel way to do it. Somebody right. else died for this. Oh, no, he's okay. He, he he's, he's, he's actually not dead. He goes, what? But, well, I mean, he's dead, but not dead. Yeah, in other words, around. in other words, he's around when I, when I need him. So so he does he does some shit for me. That's cool. uh, but not, became your angel, one of your angels. No, not really. He's just just one of just one of my entities. It's my my, my entity friends. Hanging around. Yeah. Hanging around. That you know that that if I if I if I need him to look out for me, then he'll do it. I got you. But yeah, he's <coughs> a he was a vocalist. And, uh, yeah, and he had a weird ass vibrato when he sang. It was, okay, some Mexican guy tried to describe it. He goes, I do not understand. He goes, you're a vocalist. It is like you're singing like a lamb in heat. Damn. Because because they're so fast, the vibrato. Right. Oh, wow. And they'll high pitch. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like eerie. a rock singer? Or was his, uh... Well, it's supposed to be a metal singer. Okay, yeah. No. Yeah, that's, that sounds like that was yeah. it. But yeah, he, he had he had a rather strange way of applying his falsettos. But um, I guess event, eventually, finally, when I heard um, heard his finals um, recorded product, it was just a bunch of vocal vocal mixes, you know, to um, I guess um, cover a few patches in some of his his vocal lines because it sounds much better when uh, they're uh, they're mixed and harmonized or something. Than, than one line alone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, him singing solo wasn't really that great. Oh, really? I mean, he had he had an interesting voice, but better when it's in like, synchronicity with other, other yeah uh, other tones. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I don't think it's probably better off auto tuned though. But damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I laughed. You know when he said, "Man, I love me need." And uh, see, this yeah, that's boy. That's intense visual. I mean, right this, now this boy had had the full support of his mother. His mother is like, he can't do wrong. Okay. Everything is perfect. Right. And he does. Even when he is wrong. Yep. You know, and she's a <laughs> Jehovah Witness, so they, they all are. It was a kind of rather strange, unique family. Right. But yeah, he was the one driving in that accident. But uh, yeah, that when I was up in the um, spirit realm, it, it, it was just it was just a matter of a, I guess it was it was more of a remi- it was like a reminder. It was like um, how can I say before I was born, I knew that I was going to be born with amnesia, that I wouldn't remember a lot of stuff. But it was, but that was, it was just a matter of time that I will. But when I went up there, it that that's a, that's at the first few pa- um, first first few steps <clears throat> where I found myself saying some shit. Waking up process. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was waking up. I found myself saying some shit that um, I never used to say before. But I, all I knew was, well, shit, this does sound like me. So I was like, okay, cool. All right, and then and then I was. Then I was beginning to um, feel more of the sensitivity in the, the middle of my head. I figured, okay, am I, was I gifted with some psychic experience or something here? You know, and it was turned out to be something that I always had. It was just kind of waiting for me to look at it. What you was know? your, uh, when you were in the spirit, you went on the side. What was your, uh, what was the main feeling you got when you were there? Shit, I was at peace. I was, I was like, hey, this is cool. Oh, I could I could stay here forever. Like very comfortable, like a room or something. Or... 
Kinda. I mean, I was I was still questioning it because I mean it was still a, it was still unfamiliar yet yet still a familiar surrounding. Right. I um I I still had to question. Okay, um, I'm up over here, but which uh which which of these guys are uh. Which, which side are these guys on here, you know? Yeah, they with me against yeah. me. <laughs> they plotting on me. <laughs> but uh, but you still were kind of like uh, kind of cautious. Like, I mean, okay. I saw beings that 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 um, I knew that I knew, mm -hmm. but not like in this world or whatever. Right. You just felt uh, yeah. familiar with them. I mean, it was like I don't know. There, there was a lot of familiarity of um, being home with them. It was like and. Uh, I can see the, the language spoken. I mean, it was all vibration. Oh yeah, right. It was all particle. You know? So I mean, I'm I'm still taking I'm, I'm still working on the words. To it's kind of it it's kind of uh, when you said that it makes me think when we talk about or when I, I can say from personal experience and I know everybody who looks at the sun says the same thing or uh, runs with the earth, but uh, it talks to you, but it's not a verbal language. It's a feeling. It's a vibration. Yeah, that you get. I do get images. You get sounds, whatever. Too. Yeah, it gives you codes and stuff. Gives you codes, exactly. It's, it's amazing, man. So what you're saying is exactly what, what I'm experiencing when I'm gazing and when I'm ground up. Exact same thing you're talking about. I'm sure it's more expanded because you're outside the um, physical realm, but that's what I get. And then from my uh, experiences with lucid dreaming and uh, out of bodies and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, that's it's the same. Exactly what you're describing is what I've been to what I've seen, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, all I knew from there since that, since then I would, um, I knew that I was able to go back there, you know, just in my head. And uh, I guess kind of uh, get a little feeding or something. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like a charging, kind of like the sun gazing. Yeah. And, uh, I guess uh, it, it, it was something. It was something that sort of enhanced, um, you know, my sensi my sensitivity. You know, when I'm out in the street, when I see people around, you know, um, it's it's instead, instead, yeah, I mean, you. yeah. I mean, it's like it's like instead of always being so cautious that anyone would be, you know, out to hit me at, at any angle, I'm like, okay, well, let me relax a little more, and I look at everybody like, oh, they're not here to hurt me. I just smile. What's that? And of course, naturally, you know, that that kind of behavior is not going to instigate any kind of, you know, any kind of behavior that would cause harm. So exactly right. Yeah. It's funny so, the people who are, how you know, the people who are called so 